we present inner monologue, embodied reasoning through planning with language models. Imagine the thought process when a person tries to solve some task. I have to unlock the door. Let me try to pick up the key and put in the lock. No, wait, it doesn't fit. I'll try another one. That one worked. Now I can turn the key. The thought process in this case involves choices about the best immediate action to solve the high-level task, observations about the outcomes of attempted actions, and corrective actions that are taken in response to these observations. Can an embodied agent, like a robot, plan actions with semantic feedback for such tasks? Recently, it has been observed that large language models can generate coherent action plans for complex long-horizon tasks, even without any additional training. Specifically, when they are prompted with examples, they can be made to produce sensible action plans for new tasks, such as bring me a drink from the table. To ensure the produced actions correspond to the existing skills of the robot and are grounded in the environment, PriorWorks proposed several techniques such as semantic translation, action scoring, and leveraging affordance functions of skills. However, what if an action fails during execution? What if the robot needs to replan the future actions because the scene has changed? We propose inner monologue, a method that informs embodied feedback with language for interactive planning in dynamic environments. Given a high-level instruction, instead of having language model generate action plans without any chances to make corrections, we propose to continually inject information into the language model prompts as the robot interacts with the environment. For example, we can provide descriptions of what objects are present in the scene. The language model planner may also ask clarifying questions if the instruction is ambiguous such that it can replan based on the question and the answer. Additionally, a success detector can also provide indication whether the last action was successful. If not, the robot may need to execute that action again and proceed to the next steps. While any feedback that can be expressed in textual form can be incorporated, we focus on three types of environmental feedback in this work. The first one is passive scene description which broadly describes environmental feedbacks that are consistently provided and follow some structure, such as object recognition. The second one is active scene description, which describes the unstructured feedbacks provided in response to the questions asked by the language model planner. The questions may be answered by a human or by a visual question answering model. In this work, we focus our analysis with answers provided by humans. The third kind of feedback is success detection. This can either be a trained model or an engineered solution using heuristics. Importantly, the entire process only requires field shot prompting and no additional training for the language model. Here are some example runs of the proposed method. In the simulated domain, here the task is to put all the blocks in the bowls with matching colors. Notice that the policy fails to place the pink block during the first time but quickly retries and succeeds in the second time. Here in the real-world tabletop setup, the task is to stack all the blocks when two blocks are already stacked. This time the planner recognized the policy failure during the first step and the third step, and it was able to issue a retry. And this task here is to put the bottles and the fruits in different plates. Without being trained on this task, the language model planner produces a correct plan for this long horizon task. However, when trying to place the ketchup bottle on the green plate, it fails during the first time, but succeeds at the second attempt. And it was able to successfully complete the task in the end.
The third domain is real-world mobile manipulation. Here the task is to put a Coke in the top drawer. The robot first goes to the drawer and tries to open the drawer. However, a human operator forces a policy failure, and the robot tries it again and succeeds during the second time. Similarly, the human operator forces another failure when the robot tries to pick up the coke, and the robot is able to recover from its failure again. We also observe interesting emergent capabilities with the proposed inner monologue method. In this interactive setup, the task is to throw away the snack on the closed counter. The robot first goes to the counter and asks what snacks are on the counter. Instead of answering the question, the human operator asks the robot to perform a different task. I want you to throw away something on the table. When the robot goes to the table, the human operator says, never mind, I want you to finish your previous task. Finally, after asking the human operator what snacks are on the counter, the robot picks up the apple and goes to the preset trash can location. 